One, two, three, four. Okay, four amp hour, six amp hour, two five amp hour XR. They are one hundred percent. Right there, they are one hundred percent. I just charged this guys with the previous video, and before I charged this entire scooter from fifty one percent to one hundred percent, and basically twenty amp hour drop one light. Basic one light means there's three lights right here. It drop one light on each battery. So 51% to 100% drop one light. And now I'm going to charge. Okay, I'm going to charge Dyson V10 animal 100% depleted to nothing. And with this 20 hour amp battery starting now. It's charging and we're running on 45 watts for battery, 20 amp hour. Okay, a quick update. So at 20 volts, 43 watts. Okay, so it's 43 watts, pulling 43 watts of power right now into the Dyson. So let's do a quick calculation. So we had 20 amp hour at 20 volts. So 20 amp hour, 20 volts, that give us 400 watts. So 400 watts of power station at 43. So just give about 10 charges, or 10 hours of charge, a little less than 10 hours of charge because it's 43. So I don't know how long it will take to charge Dyson, maybe an hour, that means I can charge, if it's one hour, it means I can charge Dyson about 10 times with this setup. Well, we are waiting for the Dyson to be charged. Yesterday, I charged this Segway from 51% to 100%. I just say 50%. I charged each one of this battery, the 20 amp hour. I lost one light out of three. Means I can charge the entire load I can charge the Segway one and a half times. So if I have two of this, 40 amp hour, I can charge three of this. So one and a half, one and a half. And so that means three, I can charge this, this, and one more at 40 amp hour. That's pretty good. It means at least I know 20 amp hour, I can charge the entire thing full and some more if I need it. If I go to somewhere traveling and stuff, and we go to the park, I should be able to charge this right on site. Means the EcoFlow, I can charge 40 amp hour. Means EcoFlow power station, not this one. The EcoFlow power station charge 40 amp hour. I can charge three of this. I can charge three, three Segway with one EcoFlow set up and takes four hours, under four hours of solar to charge the EcoFlow. That's pretty good. Four hours solar power, I can charge three of these guys, or 40 amp power. So one and a half hour right now, we are at this. Still at 45 watts, 43, 45 watts. And we're working on the third indicator light. So two hours since the so last time we checked was one and a half hour. Right now it's two hours. Look like it's fully charged. It turned itself off. And the power shows 19 volts and 8 watts standby on the inverter. So if I unplug this. Okay, it doesn't draw any power. So the unit itself from Dyson doesn't drop any power after you're done with it. And let's check how much battery have we used. Three full charge, full charge on the six and four amp and full charge on five and full charge on five. So both fives and all, all of them has three bars. So confirm what I was thinking. So let me do a calculation. 
So if it's one and half hour to two hours on a 43, 45 watt with a power draw on the 400 amp. So that, let's give 80. So that means 400, 80 to 90. Let's say, let's take 80. So 400 divide 80 means that we can charge this thing five times with this battery. Five times. So that's why it doesn't show up on any of this because it barely draw it down about one fifth of its power. So let me turn the inverter off. When the inverter is off, it draw it down to two watts standby on the LED and just a standby power. So if I can turn it off, it doesn't draw anything anymore.